morning guys welcome back to my channel today i've got a workout for you guys i've also got a buff bunny collection at Trown hall and a review for you guys and you know food supplements regular old fitness stuff that we do over here you know yeah so i've been on two long walks this morning with max because you know that's all he wants to do in life is be outside so yeah, we go on lots of walks, which we did. I just got done filming the try-on portion of the video. That will be later at the end. Here is the time stamp if you are looking for that part. You can just skip all the craziness and the workout and all that good stuff. You know, you should stay, but you don't have to. I am going to have a little pre-workout snack. I'm not hungry, but I know if I don't eat, then I get crazy at the gym. So I need to eat a snack. So I just washed some fresh berries. Grab my handy dandy scale. I'm gonna weigh out some. That's just gonna be like a little pre-workout snack just to make sure I get that little burst of energy and some carbs. I don't know if you're picking it up on the camera, but this is literally the most massive blueberry. Like it's so massive. Oh, they're all big. Like what? What is this? 70 grams of blackberries, 80 grams of blueberries. That's my little snacky snack. Today's pre-workout, I'm trying the 1UP Green Apple. This is also a free sample from the Unicorn Party. So yeah, hopefully it's uh, delicious. I didn't touch on it when I tried this the day before yesterday, but it had like a tingly like Feeling. I, I feel like some of you might know what I'm talking about. Like, I know Cellu, like C4 by Cellucor. I get it when I ch I've had that one. And then I had it when I had the Ghost Sour Watermelon. And I had it on the 1UP. And I just don't know if it's like I'm taking too much. Or if it's just something that's normal in some pre-workouts. But like, my body gets super tingly. <laughs> like, especially my legs and sometimes like my biceps get super tingly. Like, before I even start working out, or sometimes it gets worse as I work out. It just kind of like depends. So this one does that. It's only like for a little bit, but it does do that. So if you know what I'm talking about and you don't like that, you won't like these. I don't really mind it. It just makes me feel a little bit crazy. So yeah. Oh, you know, the pre-workout talk. I was going to do legs, but I just don't have time because I told myself I was going to be here no later than 11. I really wanted to be here like by 10.45. It's now 11.40. Go Emily, right? So I don't have that much time because I promised Trey I'd be home by the time I got off. Well, Trey gets off at 12, so there's no way that's going to happen. So I'm probably going to get home closer to 1. Maybe if I stop talking and go inside because we have some things we got to get done before I go to work that we just, you know, adulting stuff. So I like need to be home. So I'm gonna bust out arms instead of legs. So I can do like a bunch of supersets. So I'm gonna focus on shoulders, biceps, triceps. This is something new that I'm gonna try. It's like an arm day because I don't want my upper body to grow anymore. Like I'm pretty boxy and like wide and I have muscle somewhere under that fluff. So I kind of want to like tone them down and have smaller arms. I wouldn't mind having big delts, but I definitely want smaller triceps and biceps. So I'm just gonna like burn them out with some supersets and go a little heavier on my delts but still burn them out towards the end so i'll kind of show you guys what i'm doing um i'm thinking like three supersets today so i can get in and knock it out so like a bicep tricep um a rear delt and like front or lateral delt and then a mixture of like triceps and shoulders and maybe do like an additional like bicep burnout or something so you'll see i'm gonna like do it as fast as I can with minimal resting time. That's what takes me the longest is like, I'll kill myself and then I'll take too long of a rest period. So I wanna improve on my rest period. So that's what I'm gonna try to focus on today is lower rest, higher intensity, getting a good sweat, a good burn, and just tiring out my muscles. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this workout because I don't know what's about to happen. <laughs> well, I'm gonna do, but whatever. Okay, I need to stop talking, get inside the gym, knock it out, let's go.
from a really awesome, awesome workout. Like I'm like living life right now. I know I kicked butt. And I just love those days when you know you did great. Cause we definitely have those days when we like don't feel like we did that great or could have pushed a little bit harder. So I feel great. My shoulders are getting tired from holding this camera, but I'm gonna make a post-workout meal and I wanted to show you guys what we're having. We're having a cheeseburger. So I am going to use this lean burger. It's like a frozen patty. Um, this brand also makes like veggie burgers and stuff, but the macros are really good. It's five fat, zero carb, and 21 proteins for a patty. Then I'm gonna put a thin slice of Colby Jack, some lettuce, some mayo, some ketchup, and I'm gonna put it on a whole wheat bun. Well, that's what we're having. I'll show you the macros and how I do it. Two minutes. I like my buns a toasted, so I set them on top of the toaster like that. Put my Colby Jack cheese on for the last few minutes. So excited, it's about to go down. Hey guys, so, look at Max. All comfy. That's why there's always blankets on our couch now. Because of this one. Anyways, hi guys, I know a bunch of you came to the video just for this section and I'm super excited. I wanted to do this so, so long ago, but it took my order so long to get here and I live 45 minutes away from the headquarters. Like that's ridiculous, but I know like they had a lot of orders, so I get it. I'm gonna go over everything I got. I got some tops, I got some leggings, I got some shorts, so I'm just gonna show you everything I got. I tried them on, I worked out in one outfit, I wore one to work, so I kinda have like a good, you know, I got some opinions on them. Some honest opinions. So let's jump on in to the try on haul and review. So the first item I picked up was at the unicorn party. And so these are the limited edition ones that you can't get online, but they are the Melina shorts. And I got them in two colors. I got them in red and I got them in stone, like this beautiful gray color. And they have pockets on both sides which is awesome i love these shorts i love the fact that they're high rise the band at the top is awesome it has great tummy control and they stay up very well i did work out in these red ones today they're a little schmelly the only problem i has i kept having to pull the bottom down like every time i did a workout but i have that problem with my boogie shorts from lulu as well so it's the same problem these retail for 30 dollars, and i honestly think that is such an incredible price because roughly Nike Pros are like $25, I think. Don't quote me on it. The Lulu ones are like $50 to $60. And these are such good quality. Like, such good quality. And they have pockets. Like, I just am obsessed. And I think $30 is a very, very reasonable price. So, like I said, I picked them up in red. And I picked them up in stone. They have the Buff Bunny logo on the back. Oh, by the way, for size reference, I wear a medium. I would like to actually get more colors of these. I loved them, minus the fact of pulling down a lot. So yeah, freaking love them. Highly recommend. 30 bucks, totally worth it. The next thing I picked up from the Unicorn Party, the Celine Razorback 2. This is just a plain white Razorback. It has the Buff Bunny logo on the back of the Razorback. This is in a size small. I love the material. It clings to your body, but it's very breathable. This retails for $20 and I think that is amazing because I have Lulu Razorbacks, like this exact same material and those Lulu Razorbacks are not $20. I don't know what they are, but they're not $20. Really amazing material. I love it. I would love more of these. The next thing I picked up, I ordered these. No, I got this at the unicorn party. These are the Luna leggings in the color Acai, which I think that's like the cutest name ever for these purple pants and they are pocket leggings they're full length these are the first leggings ever that have been the perfect length for me like I don't have to roll them up and they're not too short where they're almost a crop they are the 
perfect length for my legs and that's the hardest thing in the world for me to find in anything in anything so like this is now my like 20 out of 10 highly recommend the material is phenomenal who doesn't love pockets in their leggings um and these i am a size medium as well these retail for 58 dollars and i like them more than the lululemon ones i'm saying it i like them so much more than the lululemon ones i was telling my boyfriend like i was just raving about these one day and he's like you're out of your mind but highly recommend i will probably start buying these over Lulu's, like I'm not even lying because Lulu's are like 98 to like $110 and you're going got money for that. So this is half the price and I'm obsessed. And they're high-waisted. Your girl loves some high-waisted, you know, hiding that tummy, tummy, honey. But it has a really great detailing around the badonkadonk. And it's not picking up because I'm in front of a window, but there's like some good stitching lines that curve the bootay which is always really, really good. They're just super, super freaking comfy and I'm 110% obsessed. And they're just the best thing since sliced bread. So 20 out of 10 recommend the Luna leggings. There's a ton of colors and your girl's about to pick up so many more. I wish you got the cash money for it. So love me some Luna leggings. The next legging I picked up is the Elysium leggings. These are not my favorite and I was really excited for them. So if you can see, there is mesh detailing all down the leg, which is beautiful. I love them. The length of them is good. These are medium as well. I wore them to work. Okay, let me make, make a note of this. And you'll see it on the video as I'm wearing them. They're extra, extra high rise. And they announced that, like I knew they were extra high rise, but they like go up almost to my sports bra. I think there's like an inch of space between. And it's fine, like I was prepared for it, but it didn't stay up very well. Like I feel like it should kind of taper in more because I feel like it was still, it was like too big where it should be squeezing, if that makes sense. I had to pull these up constantly, constantly when I wore them. I was really disappointed. I could have probably downsized in them and then I might not have had that problem, but where the mesh is, it's so tight like when I took them off you could see all of the like lines from it so I'm almost scared like if I got a small that it'd be too tight on my legs I just I don't know I might order a small and see I just I don't know because I was so excited for them um in the pictures and she explained you can roll them down and I did roll them down but then you don't get that tummy control and you don't have like the band right here is what's supposed to like cinch in and hold them up high because on the other leggings and the shorts it does that and this when you fold it well then now you, this is your top it doesn't stay that great so I don't know I'm indecisive I don't hate them I'm definitely obviously gonna wear them again and give them a second chance um I just I don't know it's not that I don't recommend them it's not that I recommend them I'm very like indecisive how I feel about them I feel like if they would have just stayed up, I wouldn't have had a problem. But also, like TMI, like when you have them up, like you know those leggings that give you like saggy crotch, like that's baggy here. Like I had that problem, and I kept pulling them up, and pulling them up, and pulling them up, and I still had that problem. I just don't know. Last thing I picked up, I wish I would have gotten more of because I did not know what kind of material it was going to be. I was a little nervous. I picked up the Aurora crop top in the color blush. This retails for $28 and I got it in a size small and it has a little Buff Bunny logo on the side in the color stonish. Stonish. I don't know if it's supposed to be stone or if it's just gray, but it looks so good paired with the stone shorts and this also looks really good paired with the acai pants I got. Really stoked about that. Material is amazing. It's breathable. It's the same material as the Razorback. It's just a crop top top. But I love the Aurora crop top. Um, I would like to get this in like mint or lemon or one other color because I think that'd be awesome and yeah I really really enjoyed it I did not know what to expect from the buff bunny collection I've never owned a piece of anything of hers and when I went to the unicorn party I knew I wanted to try a top and a bottom so of course I got leggings shorts and a tank top and I came home I instantly tried it all on and I was just raving about the Luna leggings. I couldn't believe I finally found a perfect legging for my body type. I have a big butt, 
big thighs and short legs for what like my hips and my butt are and I know some of you girls have that problem too and they just fit in all the right places and I'm so excited I finally found something that works for me girl you have no idea and the material like everything is just so high quality for such I I think a good price like yes $58 is expensive for leggings but the shorts and the tops are totally like totally affordable in my opinion the leggings, if you're comparing them to Lululemon and that's what you're normally buying, they are so affordable. Now, if you're not normally buying Lululemon leggings, then yeah, they're kind of pricey. So, but I think they're worth the splurge, 110%. I will keep you updated on my opinion on the Elysium leggings. I'm just, I'm so torn about them right now. But that does not change my opinion about Buff Bunny because the Elysium leggings, although they, they did not fit me in all the right places, it was still that same high quality. So... 10 out of 10 on quality still for the fabric and all that stuff. So yeah, I hope this kind of helped. Kind of short, sweet to the point. Maybe not short and sweet to the point. Um, but yeah, I loved it. I'll be ordering more. I will do more hauls as I buy more Buff Bunny things. And I hope you guys enjoyed this part of the video and enjoy the rest of the vlog. What is up guys? I'm currently on the way to work. I've been at home being lazy and responding to comments on my latest video. So if you ever have a question or anything, like feel free to leave a comment. I love responding to my comments. So yeah, that's what I did for a while. Yeah, and now I'm in route to work. Your girl got her water jug. And your girl also sipping on that up energy. I almost said one up because I've been taking the one up supplements, but up energy, the best tasting energy drink ever. How much was your vlog camera? Just casually chilling um, on seaside. I love the beach All right. here. Just you know, mil there's the, a fish net, but but you're in the sand. The weather's so nice. I love it here. The storm just cleared up overnight. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> hey Emily, no space lungs. Hey, hey monsters. What is up? Emily's gonna make her own line of pop sockets. <laughs> yeah, he's like. <laughs> she's gonna design, she's gonna get a bunch of white pop sockets and just design them with her face on them. Just Emily. We Lug. need some merch. Yeah, Guys, Emily comment merchandise. Comment down below what you think the merch should be. Who wants some Emily merch? Emily merch. Hey, Emily, no space longer. Hey, Longsters. Hey, Longsters. Hey, Longsters. Officially, what you're the Longsters. It's My 570 awful. Lungsters. <laughs> How? What's up, Lungsters? This is why I come to work every day. I know, that's her favorite. Three days a week, she gets to do it with me. Oh, oh, oh. 